Welcome to my short tutorial on how to set up security cameras and plan them for a property. You can just use a piece of paper, notepad, draw out an MS Paint for all I care. Um, but I have the luxury of Photoshop. Got that loaded up in here. Start planning out what we want to see and where we want to put things. So we're going to start with the front yard here, which is pointing to the west. So we need to capture north and south of the west end of the house. We're going to start with north. So we're going to put a camera at the far south of the building and point that north. And that's going to cover front yard, driveway, street, sidewalk. So to get complete coverage without having to buy a pan and tilt camera, we add a second one and put that on the far north of the building. So from the north, you aim this to the south. And again, you have another camera with the front door here, front yard, sidewalk, street. And you put them together and you have overlapping 180 degree coverage of the front door and duplicate driveway, front yard, sidewalk, street. Nobody's sneaking up on this house from the front. Go to the back and we start again. We're going to try and get the north. We put a camera here as far south as I want to go because of the way they built the deck. And these are all mounted under the eaves of the house about nine feet up. It's a pretty good location for a camera. It's safe from the weather. Too high up to really quickly come up and vandalize. It's a great place to put a camera. I'll show you that later when we go to see what they look like. So this one's on the far south. Again, pointed north and to the east. We got their garage, driveway where they park their cars, part of the backyard. And then we do the other side, as far north as I want to go because of the deck. And this has got part of their garage, the entire backyard. So when we put these together, we have their garage, their entire backyard, anybody jumping over the fence lines. Um, I could go 180 degrees if I wanted to change the aiming with um, outdoor recording. You can film outdoors in all 50 states. It's not illegal to, to film a fence line. Um, all 50 states, it is illegal you go to prison for aiming this in someone's window. So that is against the law, but just shooting your backyard and a fence line, not a problem. So I, because there's a hot tub over here, I didn't want to go that far over. We buried Cat 6 to the garage structure. And there's a third camera that shoots from the north side of the garage, down the driveway, backyard, back of the house. So you can see everything from this direction. So when you put all three of those together, you have some pretty serious overlapping of camera angles and nothing is missed. Now, because of the way that their lifestyle is and the way their house is designed, the garage is back here, park back here usually, or just pull up quick to the house, you're not going to walk from the garage. Nobody's going to walk all the way around and go in the front doors. The front door is not really used that often by the um, homeowners. They use the side door, and most of the friends, family, delivery guys know side doors where to go. So because of that, we put a camera right here on the northeast corner of the house facing right at the door and where they parked their car and side yard, part of the sidewalk. So when you toss in the front yard cameras, that's pretty serious overlap. When you add in the back yard cameras, that's pretty serious overlap because trying to get the side of the house and the car from the garage is a long shoot with any camera. So now this camera doesn't have to shoot that far. It really only needs to get the back of the house. And then from there, this camera can take over. Um, and you put them all together, and that's a pretty serious overlap of cameras. No one's going to vandalize a camera, mess with a camera, because if they tried to walk up to one, as it was getting destroyed, it would send a notification two, three more cameras would then start filming or already are filming and start sending notifications, you are pretty safe. We did not put one in the uh, side yard here. Um, due to fire code, they're not really allowed to have windows really between the houses. This is just mechanical, like air conditioning units. 
um, whatever windows may or may not be here, it'd be more of a liability filming in what could be their child's bedroom, because that, that really is stretching the, the line of the law of, are you just filming your side yard, or are you filming in their, their window? Because these cameras have such a wide lens, you really can't aim it not to shoot through whatever small window fire code does allow to be in that area. And to get to this area, you got to walk through so many different camera angles you've already been flagged and notifications sent out, recordings made. You're not getting in here and out without being seen already. So there's no sense really to put a camera here for the meter reader with the potential liability of a neighbor getting upset that you're filming their kid's bedroom window or something just not worth the the hassle for the extra effort and what minimal security you would add to that so with that said i'm going to take a break here flip screens and we're going to see what this looks like in reality and not just a concept on a satellite photo Okay, welcome back. We are going to look at some camera angles of what it actually looks like in real life. So here's your front yard, side door from the garage, and then the entire backyard. So as you see here, we see somebody walking from the north. And as you can see, we got, there's the front door, there's the front door, mailbox, mailbox, same tree, same tree. We got pretty serious overlap with these front cameras. We're going to watch some Google, and I think even on the side door is going to grab them first thing. So they're, they're twice on camera already now, so there's two cameras that grabbed whoever this individual is. And then there's two. They already grabbed them on going south, coming from the north, going to the south. Already got them. So you're not sneaking up from the uh, front at all. Here comes a car. See it and boom it's gone twice so anybody walking up to the front door the front door or walking out and then going to the side door you can or even from this direction here you saw them kind of drive by over here from the garage shooting all the way down the driveway it's a long shoot but it it sees it so we are going to skip ahead here a little bit and see some backyard footage okay so again we got a car both areas and the side door went through there um here comes cat two already two cameras caught their cat going to their back door and right there back of the house letting the cat in it's there's nowhere to hide here Yep, doors open. Already two cameras caught that. Two cameras caught the side door. They're already now on the backyard camera. So this is not just one camera hand tilting around trying to, to follow someone and send a notification. It's cheaper single mount cameras about nine feet up on the house that are grabbing footage, recording it, setting notifications. Unless you're, I mean, even, you gotta be down the block shooting paintballs to knock out a camera and not get busted. So, I don't know why this phone is open. Interesting, funny. The things you see on a camera. Yep, Penny's off. Both cameras caught that. And now, I'm gonna break. He's on three cameras now. Side door, backyard, northeast, and the driveway from the west. Already, I mean, you got just parts of it, but if you go back or forward a few seconds, you got pretty excellent shots of whatever you're trying to find. And now going from the side yard, 
is going to pop up into the uh, front yard and down he goes. And this is a surveillance station using to record this. It can do 24 hours, 7 days a week, 30 days plus of all six cameras. Um, yeah, I like the synology because I've been doing security cameras since 2008 and I'm not stuck with a certain camera brand. I can just change the settings and it can be different cameras. Um, Reeling's got a good system. I put that in my parents. It was quick, easy, affordable in their budget. But now they're, there comes somebody, four cameras. But now they're locked to the, the real link uh, brand, which is a good brand. I don't see any issues currently, but we don't know what any company will be like in five years. We just don't know. So I, I like the adjustability and, and the flexibility of the Synology. Um, people say it's expensive, but if you were doing cameras in 2008, you know that one outdoor rated pan tilt camera that was only doing 420p that was a resolution was $700 um, outdoor rated camera that didn't do pan tilt was 200 plus dollars and none of these had IR night vision and we're, we were spending that um, the old D-Link network video recorder that was $700 and it didn't do any of the cool tricks that the Synology um, can do with media storage, photos, back up your computer, music, whatever you, it, it, there's so many different things that Synology can and do. It's like a Swiss Army knife and it, I prefer using it over the real link, which is only going to record cameras. It's all it's going to do, all it's ever going to do. So yeah, you had to spend an extra 50 bucks, I think, uh, per, I think it was 50 bucks a license to, to record with Synology, but compared to 2008 when it was 700 a camera, so we've come a long way in technology and price. So to complain about Synology's licensing, it's like, eh, thank you for watching. This is what it looks like in reality. Any questions? ask and somebody will answer sooner or later no guarantees for me i did what i could have a good day bye little car